Melissa will be the newest addition to the long list of heroes and people might be wondering if you guys will be able to use her in the ranked games. But the simple answer is yes. You can easily use her in ranked games and to be honest, she is very broken. She is a must pick hero that fits into any team composition. Hi guys Kazuki here and welcome to our play like pro Melissa guide PLPG. In this video we will be covering Melissa's most overwhelming aspects and we will tell you how to effectively use Melissa's passive, when and how to use her skill combos, how to rotate, her builds and emblem and most importantly her counters. Let's start with her passive. Melissa's passive is very simple to understand. She deals 150% additional damage to minions and summoned units, meaning she is very effective against heroes like Jask and Sun. Moving to her first skill. It is a dash that increases her attack speed for 3 seconds. Other than increasing your attack speed, you can also use this ability to dash in and out of the battle or while escaping. Let's get to her second skill. When using her second skill, she throws muddles in the direction of the enemies dealing damage on it. Using the first skill while her second skill is active will also reposition the second skill towards the first skill direction. Muddles will link itself to nearby enemies for 6 seconds. While Muddles is being linked, attacking Muddles will also transfer the damage to the linked enemies. For that 6 seconds duration, the attack minion button will be changed to attack muddles button. This will let you hit muddles and easily transfer the damage onto enemies. Every damage dealt by Muddles will also reduce the cooldown of her first skill. The best thing about this skill is you can hit the enemy and Muddles will also do the same. You also can use the second skill to check if the enemies are hiding in the bushes. Let's talk about her ultimate now. Her ultimate works same like Akai. Using this ability will form a barrier around her and push back the enemies. This barrier will be active for 4 seconds and it will deal continuous damage to enemies trying to approach her. Now let me tell you about its uniqueness. This skill will also increase Melissa's physical and magic defense. Note. Using the first skill will also move your barrier and your second skill at the same time. Also staying inside the ultimate will make the barrier remain for 4 seconds. Moving out will remove the barrier after a short while. We will just take a moment of your time and congratulate the winners of the first phase of our giveaway. Winners, please check our community tab for further details. Let's take a look at her skill combos. You can use her skill 1 to increase your basic attack speed, then quickly follow it with her second skill to link the enemies. Then make follow up with the ultimate, then use more basic attacks. The quick shower of hits from muddles will reduce the cooldown of the first skill and you will be able to use the first skill again.
The ultimate will protect you against approaching enemies and make them get pushed back instead. Builds For the first item build sweet boots, bonus attack speed will help you land more hits early on. For the next item, you can either get Berserker Fury or Scarlet Phantom. I personally would go for Berserker Fury as Melissa can get bonus speed from skill 1. So getting more damage is best. For the third item, go for Scarlet Phantom. The bonus speed now will be a lot useful because of enhanced crits. For fourth item, it's a hassle. If the enemy has Alders, Ling or some assassin that has started harassing you, make Wind of Nature early. If not, make horse claw. The lifesteal will greatly enhance your sustain. For the fifth item, build the one you didn't do in the previous slot. Two lifesteal items will ensure Melissa can never be outmatched in longer fight. She has a great heal potential. For the last item, go for wind Toker to get extra movement speed and max your attack speed to go pew 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 on the enemies. However, if you feel like your hits are a bit weak, build Malefic Roar to shred their defenses. Emblem Set For Malisa, the Marksman Emblem is best suited. The Marksman Emblem put points into crit chance and attack speed. For talents, you can use the Weapon Master to have bonus stats from your gears. Or use Electro Flash. Electro Flash helps Melissa reposition faster and gain little health back while landing. Weakness Finder is a great choice too. But in my opinion, Electro Flash is better suited for her. Spell For Spell, Inspire is hands down the best option for her. Her skill 2 for multi-targeting, skill 1 for attack speed, and Spire for even more speed to instantly shred down enemies. The lifesteal from Inspire comes in handy as well. Also helps delaying lifesteal items for crit items. Other options are Flicker. An extra dash always helps. To chase down or run away from enemies, dash always helps. Alternatively, you can use Edges. You are a marksman so you will get targeted often. Having a bit more sustain can be a game changer. Melissa is a marksman, so gold lane is the best option. The more she farms, the faster she can get her items to mail down enemies. For rotation, I would stick to the gold lane for the first 5 minutes. Melissa isn't that amazing in the early game before she can at least get some items up. So farming early on is a great strategy. Plus you are a marksman in the gold lane so the ganks will come to you instead of you having to move out. So early on hold on to your fort and fight any team fight that happens nearby. Do not move too far out. Advantages or tricks Melissa is a hero with very interesting mechanics. There are tons of tricks you can try while playing this hero but there are certain things you need to keep in mind while playing her. She has a very small range in comparison to most marksmen. Almost similar to Moscow but a little higher. But there is a cool trick. With her skill 2, muddles you can actually increase her range of impact. If the target is hit by muddles, you can attack the target ahead of it to hit the one behind it. Confusing, isn't it? Let me show you. We hit a target that was standing ahead with a skill 2. Now we use a skill 1 to move models to little ahead. Now when we hit our first target, we can also damage the second target, who is a lot behind and out of range. This effectively increases Melissa range by a lot. One need to make sure they are not within models attack zone, else they all can be hit by Melissa.
Melissa's true strength is when she is fighting multiple foes. While her one versus one capabilities is really effective as well, but her ability to massacre enemies in a team fight is godlike. If you are in range of models, you are in range of death itself. So having allies like Ruby and Tigreal who can stop enemies at one place are Melissa's best partners. Melissa can stun Loki target just like Akai using her ultimate. Her ultimate has a small knockback, so if you use it when the target is close to the wall, you can actually stun Loki or wall pin them for the time being. But here is a twist. Unlike Akai, she can attack as well. She has massive lifesteal capabilities. Her main strength is her ability to lifesteal, especially during team fights. With models, she can target multiple enemies and actually have 100% life steal from all of them. So in a team fight, she can just out heal all your damage if you don't kill her immediately. Her skill too, models can actually be used as a scout. She can throw her into bushes and unknown lands to reveal what's hidden beneath them. This is a very powerful skill that can help prevent ganks and reveal enemy position to make better decisions. The best thing is, it has a very less cooldown which brings us to our last trick. You can actually use your skill too as a skill shot to damage enemies. Muddles only stay on fill if Melissa is near it. Once she moves far, muddles disappear. And what's amazing is, only has a 2 second cooldown. So you can throw damage, move away and throw again. Use this when you are pincered in your tower. You may not be able to basic attack, but can poke enemies with a skill to instead. Annoyances. Counters So we heard all about how good Melissa is, but how to counter her? So Melissa is very vulnerable to burst damage, she can outfight you in a duel, but what if you don't even give her a chance for it? That's right. Use mages and heroes that can burst her from afar. This ensures the threat is permanently subdued before it even rises. Her strength is attack enemies in numbers. So it's best not to get too close to your allies when fighting her. Maintain gaps so she cannot link multiple people with one skill to cast. This greatly reduces her overall output. So that was it for our play like pro Melissa guide. If you managed to stay till here, do comment down anything unique about her. Thank you for watching, keep supporting Kazuki official.